Okay, video number 13. In this part, we'll be learning how to connect to the server. And uh, as I said, I've, uh, I've registered a domain name. And I have bought a virtual dedicated server. And I've been given uh, an IP address. And I have done the name server settings and mail server settings already. So if I go to that uh, domain now, what happens? I'll show you my dash uni dot net. This is my a new domain name, and it comes up with website default page. I haven't uploaded any website, and I need to use an FTP client. And uh, so this is what it is looking uh, like right now. So in order to connect to that server to be able to upload a website, you need either uh, an FTP client, so I'm using file see that client which you can download, uh, which you can Google on the internet, and you can uh, download it for free. So I've downloaded this uh, file see that client and installed it. I'll up, double click on it, and this is how it looks like. So this is your local site, local computer, and this is your remote site. Now before you can connect to a web server, you need to define your website. So I'll go to file site manager and I will create a new site I'll call it my uni university okay and I have been given an IP address so I need to copy and paste that IP address port number 22 and this is a, the server type is SSH file transfer protocol we'll be using this one SSH it's uh, a, a Unix uh, based server and I'll call it normal and I'll type in the user uh, FTP user and I'll type in the password okay and I'll say OK and I'll go to file site manager again and I'll connect to the server so okay so this is my directory on Unix server this is the root just like C drive on your Windows and it's got a folder there is another folder www host is another folder and my uni.net is another folder and if I open this folder this is the folder HTTP docs where I need to upload my uh, website and if you look at it this is the index page that was being shown when we typed in the URL of the website okay so what I want I really don't want to remove this what I'll do I'll rename this and I'll change it to something else ii index so when you type in a url these the browser looks for an index html page okay so we have renamed this index html page this is my local computer this is the folder uh, so I'll, let me upload the html documents first including this css sheet and the easiest way is to drag and drop them into this folder and if you notice it's the server is uh, the the client is connecting to the server and at the bottom it's showing how many files have been transferred okay so that was very quick and I'll upload all these folders as well I'll have to pause the video here okay guys as you can see uh, the client has transferred 30 files onto the server here uh, it's still going on but it has already uploaded the index uh, page uh, I can just show it to you uh, where is it? so if I go to this directory I can uh, see the index page has been uploaded so we can actually go to internet browser and if I type in the URL you 
you can actually it's a bit slow for the first time and you have the site available on the net okay so at this moment the site is available if you type in this URL www.myuni my dash uni there's a dash in between dash uni dot net you can actually access this website at the moment okay so that's uh, it for today